Pumas, here we are at the radio station in Valencia Boys in East Campus, here to your host Melanie Moreno and we are with our co-host Jeremy and two um, persons that are invited here, so can you please introduce yourself, say a little bit about you? Hi, uh, this is uh, AJ right here, and I'm here with my f good buddy Jack, uh, we're both uh, film students here out of Valencia. Hi, I'm Jack. Uh I'm 20. Uh, this is my uh, second year in college. I'm very excited to be in the film program. Yeah, yeah, that's so amazing. So thank you for being here in first place. And then can you please talk about, I don't know, your, the film production that you're going on right now? So um, the film production program has been very fun for me. Uh, I've learned a lot, like... Uh, being a grip, working on cameras, finally how to build a camera. I never knew how to do that before. Oh, yeah, um, I was about to ask that. How long have you been with cameras and all those things? Uh, for only like two years, I bought my own camera, and it was like a simple uh, FX3 from Sony, and it's, it's similar to a DSLR. But It's like, a good start, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, good little start. But like I got um, my hands on Reds, Komodos, and Aries now, so they're very more complicated. They're like... 50 pieces to each camera so i'm very excited to like understand them more and i've finally i've got a grip on it so and then tell us about you uh, aj how long have you been in the uh, film production program uh for the film production program uh i guess technically this would be the second year if you count the prerequisite classes but uh, since uh 10th grade uh i took a film one elective and high school and from that point was when I realized that like I wanted to make a film my my uh, career of choice but like my whole life I always knew I was never going to be like a nine to five office worker I wanted a career environment that was like more physical more creative and more engaging Yeah, I think that's a big advantage of uh, starting something like arts or enter entertainment because you can be like, and you can have an outside job, not always like in four walls. So that's the thing that I really also like. That's what I'm studying journalism. Nice. And you're yeah. also into performing arts as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also like dancing. Um, I am an urban dancer. And we are, well, no, no, me, I'm taking classes in Templo Dance Studio. I, I think you never hear about it, but it's more like um, Latin music. So it's really fun. Have you ever tried dancing or you don't like you it? You do not want to see me dance. I if, you, <laughs> if you see me dance, at least load up a game of Just Dance. That's the only way. <laughs> I'm that, I know I, I a bit, know a bit of Ball Tralta thanks to sneaking into a UCF class. <laughs> So. UCF class? So, yeah, they teach uh, in UCF. Uh, I don't even go there. Uh, they have, like, uh, dance classes for free. And you just can enter them, and you can learn bolchalta, salsa. They, like, teach it every week or every month or so. so oh, I learn. didn't know that. Oh, I w it was for a Tinder date. And after that, <laughs> okay. I got ghosted. Okay. But, hey, I learned how to bolchalta, and I got some moves now. So it's pretty fun. Yeah, that sounds awesome. A yeah. win. A win is a win. <laughs> Yeah, now you said you're working on music videos. Tell us a little bit about that process. Uh, do you want to go first? I'll go first. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, the whole the whole point of the music videos is that we get separated into basically five categories of main jobs. You got the producer, the director, the first AD, the production designer, and uh, what's the fifth one? Um, you said first AD, producer, production designer. Oh, um, DP. Oh, and director of photography, which is DP. So out of those five positions, you get classified into a group of three people, and then it's up to you to find two other people in your class to basically pick up the two jobs that your group didn't get assigned. And then on top of that, you find other people, you find actors and other, and other classmates, or I guess like really anyone that you want to pick up that will be willing to work. And we basically just come together and we figure out like, What kind of uh, what kind of song we want to do? Like, for me and my group, we're going to be discussing that on Thursday. Jack will when we get uh, to I, him. I, he'll, I, yeah, yeah. When we get to Jack, he'll talk to you how he's trying to do. I guess marketing for like local bands. I'll explain that in a minute. Yeah. 
but essentially yeah it's just create a music video uh we have until like almost the end of the semester to do so and once we wrap up uh filming and everything then it then each person in the group the the key three people that are for, were the original group uh we each gotta like individually edit all that footage wow. ourselves and then and to clarify these are for one of your classes what what class is this this is uh i guess i guess C- art cinema- of cinematography yeah but cinematography. this is pretty much like our one big uh, final uh, project of this semester. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you also mentioned something about five positions? Yeah, so it's five positions, but you get a group of three people to get three of those positions. So, like, for my group, for example, uh, my group covers uh, production designer, director, and DP. So that So then for first ad and producer we would have to find other students that would be willing and available to pick those up like for jack like yeah. we uh, picked up jack to be our first ad ad by the way is assistant director they're like the organizer of the production they'll like make sure uh we're going on time and then we'll communicate with people okay the director wants to do this shot we need to move everyone here and also there's a safety meeting uh, in which role do you like to play the most I, for, well, yeah, for me, my, uh, my assigned role is production designer, but really I want to focus myself on doing all things electrical. So basically mess with all the lights because I really enjoy uh, lighting design. I want to get better at it and especially stuff like, like color theory, color meanings. Uh, basically, I just would like to like make things like look pretty and presentable. And if I, and every chance I get to like, that lets me like play with uh, lights. I'll I'll jump on it. Yeah, lighting lighting mm. is a really important thing at the a moment of filming. But I think not everyone knows like the importance that it has. So, I, I it's it's really yeah. really cool that you do that. Because there's like ve- many nuances besides just put a light here, put a light here, put it exactly. on the actors, and that's it. There's like so many different like things that you may not even like think about at the moment that you got to be keep in mind for the final, how that applies and adds onto the effect of the final product. Well, that's the number one thing I think of when I think of music videos is that lighting scheme is how they do all the light ups and everything. Jack, can you tell us a little bit about your projects? What are you doing on the side? Yeah, well, on the side right now, I just finished two 12 hour shoots, one on Friday, that was the 28th, uh, 27th, yeah. 27th from seven to seven to the 20, uh, Eighth, and then I did one yesterday, which was the 28th to the 29th from 7 to 7, again, back to back. Um, it, it was very fun. It was a horror, f- slight comedy uh, film about, like, some weird goblin creature uh, killing, like, a bunch of teens uh, in the middle of the woods. Oosh. And a guy who really likes his hammock a bit too much. Um, it was very fun. I was the sound... Um, operator on that one i boomed and also mixed the sound um midway through the entire production so i had to run i had i had to even start the fire so i guess i was also a little pyrotechnic while on there (laughs) and that was fun um because i'm also a boy scout so got to put those skills finally to use a boy (laughs) sweat um so a boy scout is a um little thing we have a uh, little thing I did when I was a kid. It was like you go out there camping and you earn like merit badges, like little badges uh, where yeah. you learn a skill. And that's what uh, Boy Scout is. And what I've done a lot in Boy Scout is make little campfires. And the setting was like meant to be a campsite with campfires. So I built um, campfires. Uh, like I built like four campfires for, throughout the whole weekend multiple <laughs> and times. And let them burn. I think. I think I still have my Boy Scout handbook somewhere in my house. Uh, I'm really? sure I do too. Yeah, yeah. The, something that doesn't leave you. Mine kept disintegrating oh. every <laughs> year because I kept like flipping through it. And Not like, because you were burning them. Maybe I don't know. Sometimes you need some tinder. I mean, I did a little whittling back in my day. Yeah, but uh, back on the project, uh, it was very fun working on it. It was my first ever like. It was second ever outside project ever done. And we met a bunch of old Valencia alumni on that project. And <laughs> it was very, very, very fun. Sorry, people are... 
<laughs> I'm so Our famous. classmates are yeah. spying on us. I'm yeah. so famous. The one drawback to having a big giant open window <laughs> yes. here at the uh, the East Campus SAE building is that a lot of your your fans well, are stuck. Yeah, that's fun yeah. actually. But um, it's a good time. But then I've been working on the music video, like AJ said. I'm currently trying to find um, indie artists because I would like indie artists. Indie artists yep, so for independent and local, right? Yeah, independent and local artists. Uh, in Orlando, trying to like give them exposure, and then it helps me out too, because then I can use their music in the video legally. Yeah, um, and I would really like to do that, but it's been kind of hard because they're flaking on me a bit. So I have some other ideas, like um, I want to do like a montage scene of like a basketball team getting ready with "Don't Stop Me Now" Ooh, from Queen. That would be good. Because. <laughs> uh, because you're having a good time. You're having, having a, a good, good time. time. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Um, and I was going to make it very comedic uh, with like AJ suggested um, having like shot glasses, but they're pouring po- protein shakes in it and they're like quickly like doing the shot glasses. They're doing pull ups yeah. and like the two teammates are pulling them up, How pushing absolutely them Absolutely fun. Wow. <laughs> so I'm, I'm leaning a bit to that one because I love making comedies. I think they're fun. But AJ is going to be my producer on that one. He's going to help me find locations and talk to my set designer for our budget. I'm going to fund it. So it should be fun. And then I'm assistant director who's going to be organizing his time frame on that. Yeah. Now, you guys are also working on the Valencia College Film Festival for this this iteration. The film celebrations are. Yes, the film yes. celebration. So Mark your calendars. March 2nd. March 2nd. Uh, March 2nd. That's this awesome. year of Tell 2024. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, what's what's going to be expected? And, you know, I've, I've, I remember going and seeing some of the backdrops, um, people showcasing, of course, some of their films. You're, you guys are designing the, the trailer, helping design part of the trailer. Yes. You want to talk about the trailer? Um, are you on the trailer? I am not on the trailer. I am not right? on the trailer, but I... Um, I'm their kind of like sneaky operative. Uh, <laughs> I so what I'm doing right now. So I I've gotten them some I, like props they can use, but um, the trailer it's under wraps right now. But a little spy thriller. Um, you heard it here first. Spy. Uh, so it's very fun. Uh, so they're so it's all youth led now. It's all the program led, and they have some advisors like um, our guy Jeremy, who's a worker, he, a TA. Yeah, we love J names. <laughs> Everyone's J here. Um, so everyone, so we have our director Sean, who's a cl- fellow classmate, and then everyone else is an AD producer, set designer, are all working together right now in the production office. And uh, I'm providing like old tech computers because I know a guy, uh, and it's going to be very fun. Um, but we have a trailer to promote our celebration. Sadly, me and AJ are not on it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. But we are on another one. How do we talk to you about Uh-oh. that? How do we fix that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the only problem is that we really can't talk to anyone because yeah. before we even filmed the trailer, the other half of us are working on a film, on another film uh, production that we're going to be working on starting next week up until the better part of like the week after because that is also yeah. part of our of our big grade for our, our film production two class and it's pretty cool because it's basically one of our, our program heads uh, he's filming this uh, short film eric that he, flemings yeah shout out to eric fleming uh, basically it's just like a short film that he's d- been working on for years but with the hopes that he could maybe use that as a pilot episode for something more. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's that's kind of where you guys are at. I mean, we've seen a lot of awesome opportunities come through Valencia College with some of the film students. They get to go and do these side projects. We had um, um, just uh, the, the 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 wedding, the the plus one uh, wedding film just got released um, oh. from them working through COVID um, with uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Um, uh, I, I believe Ashanti as well. You know, just getting your hands on, getting into the industry right off the bat. I mean, that's got to be in itself, you know, great marks for moving into such a fast-paced industry. A hundred percent. No, yeah, it's very fun working on this production because it's like very official, and we have it's like I think the most professional production I've ever been on because it's so structured, and it's cool. I'm the boom operator for that one uh, oh. because I. I got voluntold and actually walked my way into that one. Yeah, and I am one of the two electricians that's going to be working on our production next week. But it's really cool because, like you mentioned, like the some of the major films, some like the bigger films, Valencia's done like 
uh, the plus one. We've also and then also uh, I know it's on Netflix, uh, Montford, but it's also nice because also because uh, like you'll al- always have like an influx of a uh, Valencia alumni that would be like come mm. in and ask to like borrow the soundstage area because I've worked with a I've done that uh, throughout this uh, school year a couple of like much smaller uh, short film productions that is just used as uh, just like shot on the soundstage or maybe like a little around campus from like Valencia alumni or some of the uh, other TAs. Yeah, and talking about the film production area, maybe what are your career goals that you want to do in the future or your dream job, your dream salary? (laughs) My dream salary, uh, that's an easy question, comfortable. Dream salary does not exist <laughs> for how I've experienced it. It's very, it's very frugal because uh, wh- when I talk to a lot of people, like past alumni and people working in the industry, it's all, it's pretty much commission based. You gotta like hope that someone's got a job for you next yeah. and hope it can hold you over. But dream job wise, I would love to be a director, but I know that's a, a bit unrealistic. And ooh, fil- film student wanting to be director—that's original. But um, why, why is it unrealistic? Uh, well, this don't, everyone wants to be a director, so um, it's kind of like... Um, competitive? It, it's super competitive. And also, like you can be a director of your own film, but being a director of a big production is like super hard to get into because like AJ probably wants to be yeah. a director one day. I want to <laughs> be a director. Only one of us can. <laughs> so, But I like learning all the departments so I can better understand them, so yeah. I can be a better director because then I know... <laughs> oh, our grip department's going to need this much time to set up lights and our cameraman needs this much time to make his camera, I can uh, deviate time enough for them and also I can come up with a creative vision and work around between these problems if, like, our light goes out. You know what I mean? It's just very, uh, it's just very like, logistical behind the scenes and especially the closer you inch yourselves towards uh, Hollywood, it's the, the more it gets more a lot more corporate and favoritism and and depending like where what section of like hollywood or like any like other major film studios you go to will really like limit how much how much or how little creative freedom you can get or even just the freedom itself of just pitching a film out there well talking connections since that's so important how do you feel orlando plays into the film industry do you think you're getting connections being at valencia college so I think I'm getting pretty good local connections, but I do know the film incentives here for like a job job wise aren't good unless you like commercials. If you like doing commercials, then uh, Disney's got you covered. <laughs> um, my plan currently right now is to do commercials and a couple of things, save up money for a year, and then move out to Atlanta, which there's a bit of a booming business, and then from Atlanta to LA and oh, yeah. work my way up. By like gathering money and like my connections, basically to survive in this indri- industry, you need to be likable and like to know everyone. Yeah. So the higher level is in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. So that's that's like the, the qu- like the quintessential general like like oh like Hollywood is in California. I gotta it's the go movie to Mecca. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like it, when you think of movies, you think of Hollywood, but in reality. It's not always Hollywood. Like every couple of years, there will always be like another, like a secondary hotspot for filming throughout the U.S. Like I know for a good time, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta was uh, one of those spots. Right, The Walking Dead. So many TV yeah. series Walking were getting Dead, filmed out yeah. there. Yeah, Walking Dead and Tyler Perry to Tyler Perry yeah. to name a couple. But yeah, like it's all the hotspots are always like moving in and around. But all but if you ask the general person, they're just always going to say Hollywood. New York, too. Uh, I hear New York's very popular. It's just very competitive there for how small it is. So if you would have to do a ranking of your dream places. Dream places? Um, New York, L.A., Atlanta, and then Orlando because I have family here. <laughs> <laughs> just for that reason. Got those roots. Hey, man, it, it saves money on rent uh, if, you can live with, if you live with your parents while you work. I've known a lot of uh, people uh, in the film industry who still live with their parents because, like, they're funding their personal projects and they're working at the same time. That's like every actor. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> until they get the big break. Until they 
pull a Ryan Gosling. <laughs> oh, goodness. Or not Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds, too. <laughs> oh, also, um, Canada is a good place also for the industry. If you like, you know how to know your way. Yeah, like, if you can like navigate over there and the passport. Oh, yeah. I would love to do documentaries, though, because then I could travel everywhere. I think that would be very fun. Yeah. Well, like nature documentaries? Nature documentaries or cultural. Go, uh, the, go film a moose. <laughs> go film a moose. <laughs> I'll film a moose, film a crocodile, like fly a few away. Hopefully, I, like, I, don't, I don't know how much I'd enjoy naked do- nature documents. I think I'd rather take like the more like normal like interview documentaries, or maybe true crime as well. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good one. Yeah, so tell us. Uh, we'll just wrap it up. We're gonna be all of us attending film celebration. Tell us a little bit. Uh, uh, make sure we get the the date right, where the location is gonna be. Uh, just for everybody listening. Yeah, so film celebration is going to happen on March 2nd. So basically, that immediate first weekend of March coming right up, that's the film celebration. It's going to be an all-day thing. We're, I think we're going to like split it up a little bit. So there's going to be one a time slot more towards like the morning, daytime. It'll be morning to evening. Uh, we'll have VIP tickets. Please buy those. Uh I think you can buy your tickets either online. Yeah. We don't have the website yet, but you can buy them yeah. online. But once everything is set up, you can. The general admission will be fifteen dollars for the general public, with a discount for any military people. Power, but if you're a Valencia student, as long as you present your ID, it you'll get in for free. And once we have more stuff, conf- more details confirmed, and more stuff set up, you can purchase your tickets. Uh, online or you can still like pay at the door yeah but okay we're showing a bunch of valencia alumni uh films they made they look very good and uh please help it promotes us and it helps fund future projects to kickstart our yeah. personal projects yeah, ple- yes uh we'll be sending more we'll be spreading that out once we have more details and talk more with the marketing team but yes uh the film celebration we are collecting any and all donations and sponsorships that we can get because all that money that we collect from film celebration will be thrown right back for the summer semester when we film our six uh, capstone projects. But yeah, uh, like Sean, like uh, Jack said. I'm Sean now, <laughs> yeah, I <guess>. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, Jack said, like, we'll, like Valencia alumni always uh, comes down to check out the new what new film celebration uh sae and the film program do but uh also i know a couple of us in the class uh they got some of their uh projects from last semester that we're also going to be uh, showing as well and on top of that we we usually get like some like local vendors that want to like come in and spread around their stuff uh jack mentioned earlier uh back to the prices real quick there will once we figure it out there will be like a vip Mm. option that will add a couple more incentives but for the most part like yeah we just want you to come in uh, come check it out hopefully get inspired by why by what we're doing but even if you still think like film's not for you that we hope that you can just come in and check us check us out and And appreciate you Yeah, yeah support, support all your work in the career, just like you guys showing up. Because it us is support. a lot of like yes. work, pre-production, production, post-production. There is something going on, yeah. and there's always some level of work that is just yeah. uh, you, like really, you get a lot of more appreciation and understanding of once you're once you are like studying film. Yeah. Yeah. And before concluding, uh, when we were talking about the re- director role, mm. I was about to ask you something because it's a question that I've always have because I don't know the difference between a producer and a director because oh. I know some of them write the plots of the film and all of those things, but I don't know the, the difference between them. So your producer is kind of your um, connection and funding expert. So our Sean is one of our assistant producers for our big project currently, uh, not the trailer. And he like will contact locations, find pl- locations on Google Maps, like roadsides we need, um, organize with like other people like, oh, can we rent out this car as a police car? Or can we rent this car, this Lincoln car, as an example. It's a person who will like 
talk to all the departments, like art department especially, like, hey, you need a hospital scene? We have the cafeteria here at Valencia. We can use that. Um, that's what we did. Uh, so it's kind of like to f help fund and organize mostly. Oh, and then like okay. communicate. Yeah. And directors more the creative side of like, I want this. This is how I envision it. And then producers saying, come down from... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically that whole, that whole uh, director-producer rela relationship is basically symbiotic where you have the producer basically being the realist and sort of like i guess if you want to call it the guy in the chair the one in the background making sure everything is going smoothly making sure things can like the things that we want to do can like feasibly be done and that just leaves all the creative work to the director himself or oh man so they're like himself. the micro transactions of games huh? <laughs> yeah yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The, it, it's hard to do do it because like most producers can like say oh we don't have the budget for that and i'm like oh dang i really want to do 500 explosions but that is also the fun of film like if you have oh, those yeah. like having the creativity to get what you want despite any restrictions that's my favorite part restrictions in film because <laughs> then well, my well, my favorite part is restrictions in film because it makes you think outside the box and uh, to, yeah. the oh, box. Yeah. to oh, like try and think okay well if I can't do this how can I make it look like this like when like how close can you get it how close can I right. make it yeah you have to be very creative for that no it's yeah. not oh, it's not easy oh, yeah. Right. yeah well thank you for having us on this awesome yeah. this is really fun actually yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you have a good time too, Melanie? Yeah, of course. Hey, well, thanks so much for spending the time talking with us, guys. This has been awesome. Uh, my name's Jeremy. I'm glad I got to co-host. Guys, go ahead and sign off with your names as well so we know who to follow for VC. Yeah, uh, AJ. AJ, uh, and this is my friend Jack. Uh, yeah, I'm Jack Kaufman. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Thanks, yeah, guys. thank you so much for coming here and share your thoughts, your interest. And yeah, we hope one day you can come again and talk about other things. Yeah, yeah, definitely great. keep it in mind. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is great. All right. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.